Hello guys, thank you for watching. I'm Corrado Cocco, music producer and certified Beatwick trainer. And today I'll show you how to make a drum synthesizer inside Polygrid. Yeah, let's get it started. Yeah, let's start from scratch. Um, I take Polygrid and load it up onto my channel. Yeah, let's make a envelope, a final envelope, A to C, A, and now um, the source. Um, I think we can choose two different waves, a triangle wave and a square wave in this case. And um, with select and button, we can choose between those two uh, waves. So let's call this um, Vusiho one. This is my first source. Well, now we need a sequencer to program our drum synthesizer. Um, first thing first, um, a gate to trigger our Vusie and some other things, and um, a steps uh, to modulate the pitch, and another steps. Uh, in order to have different velocities for each step of my sequencer. Okay, now I'll connect the gate to a Vossier and uh, yeah, uh, I'll trigger the oscillators. And yeah, let's check it out. Okay, now I'm gonna connect the pitch modulation uh, to my oscillators. Okay, now I put toggle and with this one I choose if I want to apply uh, pitch modulation to my oscillators or not. And if I deactivate toggle, um, pitch modulation won't be applied to my oscillators. So one toggle is enough to control both of them. Okay, let's keep on going. I'm using BS to change the frequency of my first VCO and actually intervals remain the same and maybe we can use a scaler to reduce the amount of shifting. Okay, now let's add the pitch quantize. This is super useful if you want to play in a specific musical scale. And let's make a switch, an interrupter. And now we're able to choose um, if we want our pitch quantized or not. So now let's continue by adding a VCO AG section. I've got a D envelope. I trigger this one with gate, and now each envelope it depends on uh, the amplitude of my velocity steps. And now I'm adding this signal to the signal which comes from pitch modulation steps. Okay, and now um, I'm using BS to make um, a sort of an attenuator and to make my envelope bigger or smaller, uh, positive or negative. So I'll show you the difference between positive and negative envelope. So I call this one a tenuverter and we can use uh, this one to control the amount of the envelope generator for this uh, VCO. Okay, this is um, my first source and now um, let's put a high pass filter and let's make uh, a switch between those two filters. 
Um, yeah, with select and button, we can make an interrupter, a switch, um, and we can choose between low pass and high pass filter. So let's carry on and making uh, an envelope filter section and VCF section. I've got uh, an envelope and also in this case, I connect uh, the velocity of each step to uh, this envelope and this envelope uh, affect the frequency of the filter. So now for each step, I've got different frequency of my filter uh, determined by a different amplitude of my velocities. Okay, well, um, let's give different colors to our sections and um, I'm adding uh, a second VCO and um, a third source, basically a noise and you can choose between uh, pink or white noise. Okay, now I'll connect the noise to the VCF section and basically I'm gonna modulate the envelope of the filter by the noise so that the envelope of the filter now is modulated by velocity and the noise. Okay, now it's time to make um, the sync button between the first and second oscillator. Um, sometimes um, this, uh, this is called hard sync button and we can do this uh, with a simple select, with a simple switch uh, by connecting uh, the output of the first oscillator to the second oscillator. So by doing this, um, the second oscillator is re-triggered by the frequency of the first oscillator. So pretty cool. Now, last thing, I'm gonna make an FM section. I've got an envelope uh, which receives the signal uh, from the output of the first oscillator and is triggered by uh, my sequencer. And now I'm adding this signal to the pitch signal which comes from my uh, pitch modulation steps and with value I control the amount of the FM. Yeah, really, really, really amazing what you can do inside Polygrid. And uh, let's see what comes along, playing a little bit uh, with this drum synthesizer. Okay, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time, bye.